Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be creating a drive image of a Windows 10 Pro installation from um, a Dell Optiplex 3040 small form factor. Um, the reason we're going to do that is we've got a load of others that we need to prepare up for a client. So the easiest way to do it will be to um, create an image of the drive. That's all the partitions and the operating system. And then um, we're going to restore that image onto um, some new SSD drives that we're going to be installing into the other um, same model of PC um, and that's the easiest and fastest way of doing it rather than doing a fresh installation on each machine and then running through all the Windows updates loading all the additional software that we need to load. Um, so Yep, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, so the way that we're going to do it is we've got the PC here and we're going to connect a standard USB um, hard drive to the USB 3 port. Um, then we're going to um, run through the cloning process and the software that we use for that is Macrium um, Reflect and it's the free version. So with the free version, you can create um, a bootable USB recovery um, drive and you can use that to also boot the device off that and then either clone or create an image um, to whatever media you want so a NAS drive um, or a locally attached uh, drive which is what we're going to be doing um, and then we can use the same piece of software so boot again on the new system um, from the uh, bootable USB stick and then um, restore the image that we've created on the USB drive um, and then boot up. There's a couple of changes that you need to do. So the first change that you need to do is um, once you've obviously got your um, image restored onto your new device, you need to go in and change the host name of the machine, especially if it's gonna be on the same network, otherwise you're gonna have problems basically. Although you'll have two systems on the same network with the same name they will have different ip addresses and different mac addresses but um, in terms of finding the device um, when you're scanning the network you want every device to have a different uh, host name so that's what, what we're going to do today so without further ado um, we're going to move right into the software so we don't need to show you how to plug in a usb stick and we don't need to show you how to plug in a usb drive um, all you need to do is to make sure that when you boot the pc you enter the boot menu and then boot from the USB stick that contains your Macrium Reflect um, uh, system. So let's crack on and have a look at the software. Okay, so here we are at the boot menu. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna boot from the USB stick. And here we are at the interface. So we're going to go to the backup tab at the top here. And here is our connected um, USB drive. And here is our SSD drive, our SATA SSD drive that is inside the machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to image this disk like this. And we're going to make sure that the whole disk is ticked. And then we're going to browse to our device and that is going to be, make sure we get the right one, the USB drive as opposed to the boot which is our USB stick. So if we open up this, this shows, actually that's not it, so it's got to be, ah it's our local disk, <laughs> sorry, it's our local drive here. And that should be all of our stuff on there so that's correct so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new folder so we're going to select the d drive and then we're going to just type in a new folder name and we're going to call this dell optiplex 
30, 40 small form factor. And that is going to create the folder. And I'm going to click on next and click on create folder. And then we're going to click on finish. That's going to then run through the process. So once that's completed, um, we will come back and continue. Um, we will go through the restoration process onto another drive and um, then we can um, show you the, uh, the, the boot process. So once it's running, you don't actually need to do anything at all. Just let it run through. And once it's finished, um, we'll show you, um, you, you do need to shut it down cleanly, um, but we'll, we'll run through that once the, uh, once the process is finished. Right, so that's all finished, and once it's finished, all you need to do is we're going to click on OK, we're going to click on Close, and then we're going to click on Shut Down. That's the little button down there, and then we're going to shut down the system. Say OK. OK, so that's the um, image created. Now we're going to move on, and we're going to... Um, do the next part which we're going to go through with you. So here we've got our receiver PC. So this is um, the new, new model uh, 3040 that we're going to be restoring the drive image to. So what we've done is we've taken the 500 gig hard drive out and we've added um, a 250 gig SATA drive and uh, so this is an SSD. Um, so it's exactly the same model as the previous one that we've um, backed up to or we've taken the drive, drive image of. So in our USB port here we've got our Macarium Reflect free um, bootable USB stick and then we've got our USB drive um, that's got the drive image of our previous system on. And so we're, now we're, what we're going to do, we're going to run through the restore of the drive image from here onto the SSD um, and then we'll boot that up and make sure that it all starts up correctly. Um, there shouldn't be anything to do uh, because the other system was fully up to date and then all we need to do is change the host name. So let's get into that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we've come into the BIOS. We need to just check to make sure that everything's set up correctly before we start. Um, so we're going to go into the boot sequence. Okay, so this, they've got it set to the legacy boot. So we're going to change this to UEFI. We're going to apply those settings as default. So they're not going to be custom settings. So we untick that box. Advanced boot options. We're going to disable legacy boot ROMs. So what we want to do is make sure that this is all set up the same as the uh, other machine. Make sure our date and time are correct, which they are. Okay, so we're going to go through and just get the BIOS set up to how we want it. Starter operation, AHCI, drives. Okay, so it's recognised our drive, which is good. Smart reporting. Don't need to enable this, but we're going to enable it for our, uh, our drives. Okay, that's that part. Now we want to boot from the USB drive, so we hit our F12 key. And we want to go boot from our USB stick
Here we've got Macrium Reflect open, so we want to browse for an image file on the Restore tab, and we're going to select our C drive at the moment. We want to find our image, which was the Dell Optiplex 3040. We're going to select our image. We're going to say OK, and we're going to restore this image as you can see here this shows us what that what it is and we're going to restore it so we're going to click on restore image and we're going to select our drive to restore so we're going to select the drive to restore it to and we want to make sure that we select the correct drive so we we look and check uh, WDC this is our 250 gig uh, SSD drive so we're going to select that drive we're going to click on next and then we're going to click on finish. And that's going to then run through, restore all of the partitions, all of the data onto the new SSD drive that's in the system. And then once that's completed, we can then um, go ahead and reboot the system. Actually, what we need to do first of all is because we've changed it from legacy mode to UEI, UE. FI mode, we need to go through and just check to make sure that the boot manager has um, restored, but we will check that once we've completed this. So once that's finished, you just click on OK click on close and that is now completed so that's uh, restored our image now we're going to go in and we're going to uh, do other tasks no we're not we're going to go in and we're going to select fix windows boot problems that will then find the drive and it will find our newly installed um, copy and we're going to select next and we're going to click on finish that's going to create our boot manager and now the next thing we want to do is we can say yes to that and while that's rebooting we're going to remove our USB drive and our USB stick we're going to let the system boot we're going to attempt to boot the system And there we have our system all booted. So let's go in, see if we can log in. And there we are. So that's a fully restored system. We've got all of our data restored from previously. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to go into our properties. And we want to there we rename go. our PC. Boot it up. So let's log back uh, in again. Something else. And we're going to call this desktop and we're going to make this up right so we're going to call it computer go to properties and see our new host name that we created so numbers, that is now completed one, two, so three, if you found that five. video useful give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've got and any comments leave them down below and we'll get them answered just Apart make sure that, that you just don't want have to say device on your thanks for watching and we will see you in the like next that. one i'm going to select next and then we're going to restart our pc again that will then reboot with the new host name and that is then ready to install in a customer site. So after you've successfully changed your host name, the next thing you want to do so is to go through and just check to see if there's any BIOS updates. So we're going to open up the Dell support. I think it's installed. It should be. Okay, so we're going to go to the Dell website. We're going to go into the system. We're going to go to drivers and downloads, and then we're going to go check for updates. 
So if there is a BIOS update, this will be detected from here and then we'll be able to install the BIOS. Okay, so one driver update, which let's have a look, it's probably the BIOS. Yes, it is. So everything else is already installed, but obviously um, the BIOS doesn't transfer between systems. So we're going to click on download and install. Once that's downloaded and installed, we'll have to reboot to finish off the, uh, the process. Okay, and there we go. So now we just click on close. We'll go down and restart our system and that should install the BIOS for us. This takes a few minutes. Okay, so we will continue. And then we'll click on cancel. And that's it, all done. So there we go. Um, if you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave us a comment below if you've got any questions and we'll try and get them answered for you. Um, apart from that, just want to say thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.